Hey guys, welcome to LS Text. Today I'm going to do my review on the Shield Experience version 5 with Android Nougat on top. So this is the new update for 2017 for all the new Shield TV boxes, so this year's and last year's. It's been updated to Android Nougat now, so it's much cleaner, simpler. You just got videos and you got games and you got a few settings at the bottom. So yeah guys, it's a simple UI, easy to use, easy to navigate, so it's nothing really like any problems you will see. And because of the Tegra 1 chip inside the Shield TV box, it's extremely fast, like loading contents, going to opening apps, it's just instant, as you can see, it's just straight away, some TV boxes or Android boxes takes a bit of time to load up. This one has no problems. And you got your games from the video game store, which has been updated as well. So you can see you got really high end games and you just got normal games as well. So, yeah, guys, that's how simple it is. So, yeah, let's just see how it works. So, let's try YouTube. So, I can open YouTube like this if I want to. Got my videos uploaded and everything. Can look at stuff like that we got Amazon video which is new this time last time we didn't have this but this time they've included which is really nice of them which is really popular so I can just click in the video and it will load up so let's see if it works and you can see guys that was extremely quick and it was already loaded up now it's just playing straight away so this is Grand Tour as you can see guys so that's really nice of them to include this time compared to last year's model which didn't have Amazon video. Amazon video is quite big now. You still have Netflix so those people who use Netflix but I have Amazon video account. Games wise you can download games from the Google Play or the Nvidia Shield and when you download games I will ask if you have the controller for some of them. Some of them you can use the normal controller. So like this one, yes, you can just use the standard remote controller. Just fine to play games, as you can see. Let it load quickly. And the games load really quickly. There's no lags, anything like that. The games play really smoothly as well. I don't have any problems with that. I can use this controller if I want. Or I can use the other game controller as well. So this is just the remote I'm using now, which is fine. But for some games, yes, you do want to. Yeah, for some games you want to use the normal controller. Uh, when you download the games, it will ask you if you have the controller if you need it. If not, you won't be asked. So we got so I got a car racing game here. For that, the controller is really nice to use. See how quick this loaded. See you guys, that was. Yeah, that was it. That was loaded. Now I'm in the game. I'm sure you guys played this on your phones and it takes like 2 to 3 minutes just to load up. So play. And I can just play. That's how quickly it is, guys. Let's see how quick it is. Du -du -dum. Yeah guys, see, that was extremely quick as you can see, you normally on your phone or your tablet it would take a minute or so to load, but here it's extremely quick, you can play games really nicely, you get the controller as well so it's really good for that, let's speed up, see if I can overtake some cars, okay maybe not, oh yeah, I am, so yeah you can see it's, the controller is nice to use for games like this, but like tiny games or games from the play store if you can use the normal remote you won't find any problems but we'll ask you if you need this remote or you can use the normal remote so that's a good thing so yeah guys that's just the game let's go back out before I lose more yeah so call the video apps another great thing about this one is Google Home Assistant so if you got any home enable gadget or like the nest you can use that as well to control it you can use your remote or the game controller as well and you can use voice command if you want so you can be like 
open YouTube. Open YouTube. And we're just gonna open YouTube as you can see. Up. Open YouTube. Yep, you wanna use the word open. If not, then it's just gonna do a search for YouTube. As you can see, I can be like, what's the weather like in London? As you can see it's really sunny in London right now and I can ask other stuff is like when is Real Madrid playing next? Real Madrid playing Malaga tomorrow at 3.15pm As you can see that was really nice and quick to use so if you're used to Google now Google OK yeah you get all the stuff and all the commands you get those nice card as well to give you more information which is really nice so you got your settings at the bar. Has all the settings you need, your game updates, your controllers, which is really nice. So overall it's a nice experience, simple, easy. It's nice and quick. There's nothing wrong with it. There's never was anything wrong with it in the first place. It's just much better now, much quicker, easier and simpler to use. So yeah guys, thank you for watching the video. Stay tuned for more video like that. First that is my review of the Shield Experience 5 with Android Nougat, it's elegant, simple as that. Nice, smooth to use, really fast, responsive, the games are really nice. So for playing games, it's great for watching 4K video or 4K HDR video. You have no problems with that, you can use it. Listen, oh, I really don't know what to say, it's great, simple, elegant to use. Yeah, I like it, I love it basically and it's a nice UI anyway so yeah guys thank you for watching the video please subscribe stay tuned for more videos and thank you